हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम डॉक्टर अजय कुमार सिन्हा प्रोफेसर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस पार्टिकुलेट पॉल्यूशंस लास्ट लास्ट आई हैव स्टार्टेड एयर पॉल्यूशन इन दैट आई हैव डिस्कस्ड एयर पॉल्यूटेंट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस पार्टिकुलेट पॉल्यूटेंट्स पार्टिकुलेट पॉल्यूटेंट्स आर द माइन्यूट सॉलिड पार्टिकल्स और लिक्विड ड्रॉपलेट्स इन एयर दीज आर प्रजेंट इन वहीकल्स एमिशन ए स्मोक पार्टिकल्स फ्रॉम फायर्स डस्ट पार्टिकल्स एंड एस फ्रॉम इंडस्ट्रीज पार्टिक पार्टिकल्स इन द एटमोसफेयर मे बी वाइएबल और नॉन वाइएबल द वाइएबल पार्टिकल्स एज फॉर एग्जाम्पल बैक्टेरिया फंगी माउल्स अलगी ई टी सी आर माइन्यूट लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट आर डिस्पर्ज इन द एटमोसफेयर ह्यूमन बींग्स आर एलर्जिक टू सम ऑफ द फंगी फाउंड्स इन एयर दिस कैन बी ऑल्सो काउज प्लांट डिजीज नॉन वाइएबल पार्टिकल्स नॉन वाइएबल पार्टिकल्स मे बी क्लासीफाइड इंटू इंटू फोर फोर क्लास वी कैन क्लासीफाई फर्स्ट दैट इज द स्मोक पार्टिकुले स्मोक पार्टिकुलेट स्मोक पार्टिकुलेट सेकेंड डस्ट थर्ड मिस्ट एंड फोर्थ फ्यूम्स दे नाउ वन बाई वन आई विल टेल यू स्मोक स्मोक पार्टिकुलेट्स स्मोक पार्टिकुलेट्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ सॉलिड और मिक्सचर ऑफ सॉलिड एंड लिक्विड पार्टिकल्स फॉर्म ड्यूरिंग कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मैटर एग्जाम्पल्स आर सिगरेट सिगरेट स्मोक स्मोक फ्रॉम बर्निंग स्मोक फ्रॉम बर्निंग ऑफ फॉसिल्स फॉसिल्स फ्यूल्स गार्बेज एंड ड्राई लिप्स वाइल स्मोक्स ई टी सी डस्ट डस्ट इज कम्पोज ऑफ फाइन सॉलिड पार्टिकल्स ओवर वन माइक्रोमीटर वन माइक्रोमीटर इन डायमीटर इट इज स्मॉल वन ओवर वन माइक्रोमीटर इन डायमीटर दैट इज कॉल्ड डस्ट इट इज प्रोड्यूस ड्यूरिंग क्रसिंग ग्राइडिंग ग्राइंडिंग एट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ सॉलिड attribution of solid materials sand from sand blasting saw dust from wood works pulverized coal cement and fly ash from factories dust dust storms dust storms also create create dust dust storms these are some typical examples of this type of particulates emission now mist mist are produced by particles of spray liquids and by condensation of vapor vapor vapors in air examples are sulfuric acid mist sulfuric acid mist herbicides and insecticides that miss their targets and travel through the air air and form mist mist mists are produced by particles of 
स्प्रे लिक्विड्स एंड बाय कंडेंसेशन ऑफ वेपर्स इन एयर एग्जाम्पल्स आर सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड मिस्ट सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड मिस्ट एंड हार्बिसाइड्स एंड इंसेक्टिसाइड्स दैट मिस देयर टारजेट्स एंड ट्रावल थ्रू एयर एंड फॉर्म मिस्ट नाउ दैट नेक्स्ट इज द फ्यूम्स नेक्स्ट पार्टिकुलेट इज फ्यूम्स फ्यूम्स आर जनरली ऑप्टेंड बाय द कंडेंसेशन ऑफ वेपर्स ड्यूरिंग सब्लिमेशन डिस्टिलेशन बॉइलिंग एंड सेवरल अदर केमिकल रिएक्शन जनरली ऑर्गेनिक सॉल्वेंट्स जनरली ऑर्गेनिक सॉल्वेंट्स मेटल्स एंड मेटालिक ऑक्साइड्स फॉर्म्स फ्यूम पार्टिकल्स द इफेक्ट ऑफ पार्टिकुलेट पॉल्यूटेंट्स आर लार्जली डिपेंडेंट ऑन द पार्टिकल साइज एयर बॉर्न पार्टिकल्स एयर बॉर्न पार्टिकल्स सच एज डस्ट फ्यूम्स मिस्ट ई टी सी आर डेंजरस फॉर ह्यूमन हेल्थ पार्टिकुलेट पॉल्यूटेंट्स बिगर दैन फाइव माइक्रॉन्स बिगर दैन फाइव माइक्रॉन्स आर लाइकली टू लॉज इन द नासल पासेज नासल पासेज वेयर एज पार्टिकल्स ऑफ अबाउट वन माइक्रॉन मीन्स अ स्मॉल वन माइक्रॉन इंटर इन टू लंग्स इजली लेड यूज इन द लेस्ड लेड यूज टू बी ए मेजर एयर पॉल्यूटेंट लेड इमिटेड बाय वेकल्स लेडेड पेट्रोल यूज टू बी द प्राइमरी सोर्स ऑफ एयर बॉर्न लेड एमिशन इन इंडियन सिटीज दिस प्रॉब्लम हैज बीन हैज बीन ओवरकम बाय यूजिंग अनलेडेड पेट्रोल टू मोस्ट ऑफ द सिटीज इन इंडिया लेड 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 इंटरफेस विद द डेवलपमेंट एंड maturation of red blood cells now i am going to tell discuss about smog smog the word smog is derived from smoke and fog if you will uh, consider both uh, smoke and fog fog then from these two terms uh, A smog is derived. This is the most common example of air pollution. A smog is the is the common example of air pollution that occurs in many cities throughout the world. These are two types. A smog is of two types. First is the classical smog. and second is the photochemical smog classical smog occurs in cold humid climate where cold cold cool cool humid or cold humid climate it is a mixture of smog it is actually mixture of three things smog fog and sulfur dioxide A smog is the mixture of a smoke, fog, and sulfur dioxide. Chemically, it is a reducing mixture, and so it is also called. It is also called as reducing smog. Classical smog is also called reducing reducing smog. Now come to the photochemical smog. photochemical smog occurs in warm just reverse of classical smog classical smog occurs in cool cool humid climate cold cold place 
एंड दिस फोटोकेमिकल स्मॉग ऑकर्स इन वार्म वार्म प्लेस वार्म ड्राई एंड सन्नी क्लाइमेट मीन्स सन सन लाइट शुड बी देयर सन लाइट इट मस्ट द मेन कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द फोटोकेमिकल स्मॉक्स रिजल्ट फ्रॉम द एक्शन ऑफ सन लाइट ऑन अनसेचुरेटेड हार्वोकार अनसेचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन्स सेकेंड नाइट्रोजन नाइट्रोजन ऑक्साइड प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय ऑटोमोबाइल्स एंड फैक्ट्रीज दैट है हेयर यू कैन सी सन लाइट फर्स्ट थिंग्स सेकेंड अनसेचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन्स थर्ड नाइट्रोजन ऑक्साइड्स प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय ऑटोमोबाइल एंड फैक्ट्रीज ओके दीज आर द रिक्वायरमेंट सन लाइट अनसेचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन एंड नाइट्रोजन ऑक्साइड्स इन द फर्स्ट केस क्लासिकल स्मोक सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड वाज रिक्वायरमेंट नाउ हेयर नाइट्रोजन ऑक्साइड इज रिक्वायर्ड ओके अनसेचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन मीन्स मिथेन इथेन लाइक दिस देन सन लाइट इज द एसेंशियल हेयर नाउ फोटोकेमिकल स्मोक हैज हाई कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट्स इन दिस ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट्स आर मोर एंड इट इज देयर फॉर कॉल्ड ऑक्सीडाइजिंग स्मॉग दैन क्लासिकल स्मॉग दैट इज द रिड्यूजिंग स्मॉग बिकॉज सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड इज रिड्यूजिंग एजेंट दैट्स वाइट इज कॉल्ड रिड्यूजिंग स्मॉग हेयर एन टू ओ फाइव इज ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट दैट्स वाइट इज कॉल्ड ऑक्सीडाइजिंग स्मॉग नाउ कम लिटिल डिटेल्स ऑफ फोटोकेमिकल स्मॉग वेन फॉसिल फ्यूएल्स वेन फॉसिल फ्यूएल्स आर बंट ए वेराइटी ऑफ पॉल्यूटेंट्स आर एमिटेड इन टू द अर्थ इन टू द अर्थ एटमोसफेयर और ट्रोपोस्फेयर यू कैन टेल देखिए दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ट्रोपोस्फेयर पॉल्यूटेंट्स दिस टू ऑलरेडी इन टोल्ड इन द बिगिनिंग ओनली ट्रोपोस्फेयर दिस है इन ट्रोपोस्फेयर मीन्स आवर एटमोसफेयर दिस एयर पॉल्यूशन एंड दिस पर्टिकुलेट पॉल्यूशन और पर्टिकुलेट पॉल्यूटेंट और एयर पॉल्यूटेंट बहुत हर प्रजेंट इन ट्रोपोस्फेयर मीन्स आवर एटमोसफेयर देन दीज टू ऑफ द पॉल्यूटेंट्स मीन्स आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द फोटोकेमिकल स्मॉग स्मॉग एंड फोटोकेमिकल स्मॉग ओके टू ऑफ द पॉल्यूटेंट्स दैट आर एमिटेड आर हाइड्रोकार्बन्स हाइड्रोकार्बन्स दैट इज अनबर्न फ्यूएल एंड नाइट्रिक ऑक्साइड और आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट नाउ फोटोकेमिकल स्मॉग इन दैट दीज टू पॉल्यूटेंट्स दैट इज द हाइड्रोकार्बन हाइड्रोकार्बन यू विल गेट फ्रॉम अनबर्न फ्यूएल एंड सेकेंड फ्रॉम नाइट्रिक ऑक्साइड एन ओ वेन दीज पॉल्यूटेंट्स बिल्ड अप टू सफी टू सफिशेंटली हाई लेवल ए चेन रिएक्शन ऑकर्स चेन रिएक्शन ऑकर्स फ्रॉम देयर इंटरेक्शन विथ सन लाइट इन द प्रजेंस ऑफ सन लाइट वॉट एपेंस इन प्रजेंट ऑफ सन लाइट एनो इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू एनो टू एनो मीन्स नाइट्रिक ऑक्साइड कन्वर्टेड इन टू नाइट्रोजन डाइऑक्साइड एंड दिस एनो टू इन टर्न एब्जॉर्ब्स इनर्जी फ्रॉम सन लाइट एंड ब्रेक्स अप इन टू नाइट्रिक ऑक्साइड एंड फ्री ऑक्सीजन एटम्स मीन्स एनो फर्स्ट एनो विल कन्वर्ट टू एनो टू एंड एनो टू एब्जॉर्ब्स इनर्जी फ्रॉम सन लाइट ऑल रिएक्शन टेक प्लेस इन सन लाइट एनो कन्वर्ट टू द एनो टू एंड एनो टू इट विल एब्जॉर्ब हीट फ्रॉम द सन लाइट 
sunlight and again it will again it will give give back no give back no and o they both are again very reactive nitric oxide and oxygen oxygen atom then then this process will continue always no will convert to no2 and no2 it will give it will break into two parts no plus o then this will continue no2 after getting a heat energy from sunlight it will convert to no plus o both are very very reactive oxygen atom are very reactive and combined with oxygen gas o2 then o2 plus o it will form o3 o3 ozone gas oxygen atoms are very reactive and combined with the o2 in air to produce ozone the ozone formed in the reaction the ozone formed in the reaction reacts rapidly with this o3 will react with no no and what it will form it will regenerate no2 in this uh, this ozone again it will react with o3 o3 ozone and again it will form no2 and uh, this no2 is uh, uh, this uh, no2 about the no2 you might be knowing already told you no2 is a uh, brown gas brown gas and it sufficiently high levels can contribute to hedge if a no2 is more then at high level it contribute to hedge h a z e means in o plus o3 it will form no2 plus o2 no2 plus o2 okay ozone is a toxic gas and both no2 and o3 are a strong oxidizing agent no2 is oxidizing agent and o3 is also oxidizing agents and can react with unwanted hydrocarbons like methane ethane both can react in the polluted air and uh, it will produce chemicals three type of chemicals it will produce here in photochemical uh, smog uh, these three are the main problem creating uh, it this uh, this will pre, uh, create or this will form uh, after the reaction in uh, this ozone and no2 after the reaction with uh, unburnt hydrocarbons it will form uh, first formaldehyde second acrolein and third pan p a n capital p capital a pan that is called peroxy acetyl nitrate p means peroxy a means acetyl n means nitrate peroxy acetyl nitrate in shortcut it is called pan p a n then this happens that suppose methane is there in uh, unwanted hydrocarbon then methane plus ozone 3 ch4 plus 2o3 ozone it will form formaldehyde means 3c 3hcho it will form 3hcho formaldehyde cho is a aldehyde group hcho means formaldehyde three molecules of formaldehyde and three molecules of water and uh, it falls it also forms acrolein acrolein is what is acrolein then acrolein is uh, actually that uh, in uh, ethylene in ethylene if one h will go and its place uh, aldehyde group will means uh, cho group, group will attach in its place in plates of h in ethylene one h will go and it and its place cho group will be attached 
then that is called acrolein and uh, what is the pan peroxyacetyl nitrate then here what will happen that uh, uh, this uh, ch3 this formula i am taking ch3 c double o okay this is the ketonic group ch3 c double o and from this actually here yeah, easily you can understand like that way that uh, this c s c s 3 c double c double o h that is the acetic acid that is the acetic acid c s 3 c double o h that is the acetic acid then in acetic acid two change will take place in that molecule two change will take place first c s 3 c double o o h if h will go and n o 2 will attach correct then no2 group will be attached in this and other with the c double you can say uh, c with c oxygen will attach with double bond then two change if you will make in acetic acid then you can remember the pan that's why it's a structure c is 3 c double c double double bond o and after that again uh, double o and no2 here here actually carbon and oxygen two oxygen that is uh, attached with single bond c single bond o and again from the other single bond another oxygen is attached and from that uh, again no2 is attached with single bond okay means uh, carbon has four valency then first uh, is used with ch3 other two with double bond o double bond with oxygen and one bond uh, one valence is remaining that is attached with o and o has two valency then other valence is attached with other o and other valency of that oxygen that is no2 means ch3 c double o again again two oxygen no2 that is the para acetyl nitrate now effect you can see these three things uh, you should remember in photochemical in photochemical smog these three main products are there formaldehyde first product second product acrolein and third product pan pan peroxyacetyl nitrate okay now effect you can see why these are dangerous the common the common components of photochemical smog are ozone nitric oxide acrolein formaldehyde peroxyacetyl nitrate these are the common components it is the mixture of all these three ozone you have seen nitric oxide you have seen this is these are found and due to uh, due to this due to this uh, again three products acrolein formaldehyde peroxyacetyl nitrate then total five i told you are the components of photochemical smog now what will happen photochemical smog causes serious health problem both ozone and pan acts as a powerful eye irritant first things first effect that is the ozone and pan acts as a powerful eye irritants ozone and nitric oxide irritate the uh, nose it irritate the nose and throat and their high concentration causes headache chest pain dryness of the throat cough and difficulty in breathing see these are the bad effect bad effect or main effect of photochemical smog again i am telling you nitric 
oxide and ozone irritate the ir irritate the nose throat and their high concentration causes headache chest pain dryness of the throat cough and difficulty in breathing photochemical smog leads to cracking of rubber other effect i'm talking about cracking of rubber and uh, extensive damage to plant life it also causes corrosion of metals stones building materials rubber and painted surfaces <coughs> this i have told you effect of photochemical uh, smog now how will you control this is very difficult to control then here we can dry actually it is tried also many tech, uh, many techniques are used to control or reduce the formation of photochemical smog if we control the primary percentage primary percentage of photochemical smog such as no2 and uh, hydrocarbon this uh, first we have to control this primary primary precaution primary precaution uh, can say pre, uh, primary precaution can tell that precursor means from that other things happen you know then you know that in photochemical smog a starting material actually is called precursor then we can take precaution by controlling this precursor precursor means a starting material the primary precursors or primary precaution you can also tell primary precursors of photochemical smog such as no2 and hydrocarbon actually these create the problem all in the beginning then these no2 and hydrocarbons are the primary precursors and secondary precursor then secondary precursor such as ozone and pan the photochemical smog will automatically be reduced how if we will control these four these four primary and secondary precursor then automatically photochemical uh, smog can be controlled okay usually get for this main things nowadays uh, people are using or uh, automatically that uh, manufacturer of uh, vehicles two wheeler four wheelers uh, nowadays usually they are putting catalytic converters remember usually catalytic converters are used in the automobiles which prevent the release of nitrogen oxide and hydrocarbons these are these are catalytic catalytic convert converter what they are doing they will prevent they will prevent the release of nitrogen oxide and hydrocarbons see when there will be no hydrogen no no2 and no hydrocarbons then what will happen no photochemical smog no smog okay they will not release they will not release uh, they will prevent you can say release of nitrogen oxide and hydrocarbons to the atmosphere then obviously this uh, smog will stop certain plants like uh, pinyo juniperus curious pyrus and uh, vitis can metabolize this they will use uh, this uh, this type of uh, uh, smog these plants uh, like uh, pinus plants pinars juni uh, juni parus pyrus again i can say just like a pinus pyrus is also a plant vitis these plants they will use these gases means can metabol metabolize 
nitrogen oxide and uh, therefore their plantation could help in this matter means so, you know to they will use these plants they will use then now these plants they will use no to and it will be purposefully now this nitrogen that will it will help to the plants in growing then these are the ways to control uh, this photo uh, photochemical smog now i am going to discuss uh, this things stratosphere pollution just like uh, tropo sphere tropo sphere pollution was there like uh, air pollution air pollutant and particulate pollutant this was this was present in troposphere now other you can say in stratosphere also uh, this pollution is going on means uh, after 10 km from the sea level or from the our earth also some uh, this pollution is there then what are that that i am telling you first ozone ozone is found where ozone layer formation and breakdown of ozone that is this ozone is found in stratosphere this is also called stratospheric pollution the upper stratosphere upper stratosphere consists of a considerable considerable amount of ozone o3 which protects us from the harmful uv light harmful uh, uv radiation it's a lambda means wavelength is 255 nanometer remember uv wavelength is a, that is lambda is 255 nanometer coming from the sun these radiations cause skin cancer okay these cause skin cancer and uh, also uh, you can tell that uh, these radiation cause skin cancer that is also called melanomal melanomal melanoma melanoma not melanomal melanoma okay in humans that is this is not good for human being uv light is not good cancer skin cancer that is very dangerous therefore it is important to maintain the ozone shield ozone layer should not be i can say this uh, now depletion is going on now it is depletion hole in ozone layers this should not be this should not uh, continue ozone in the stratosphere is a product of ozone in the stratosphere is a product of uv radiation acting on dioxygen means oxygen gas molecules this a o2 bond o3 how ozone forms ozone layer how does it form then ozone in the stratosphere is a product of uv radiation acting on oxygen gas okay the uv radiation split apart it will split apart it will break this uv radiation is split they will break molecular oxygen into free oxygen molecular oxygen into free oxygen o atom and that is very very active very very reactive and this oxygen atoms atoms combine with the molecular oxygen o2 o2 plus o it form o3 o2 will break into o and o atoms and these atoms again it will react with the o2 and it will form o3 
like that way ozone layer is formed ozone is thermodynamically unstable and decomposes to molecular oxygen okay ozone layer will convert to it is a weak weak thermodynamically weak and it breaks into oxygen o2 and again one oxygen radical thus a dynamic equilibrium exists between the production and decomposition of oz oz ozone molecules this process will always always it will continue o2 will convert to o3 again o3 will break into the o2 and o this process will continue uh, in recent years what is happening in recent years uh, there have been reports of the depletion of this protective ozone layer because of the presence of certain chemicals in the stratosphere how depletion is going on then that region i am telling you the main region of ozone layer depletion is believed to be the release of cfc chlorofluorocarbon compounds also known as freons another name of cfc is freons f r e o n s freons question is asked these compounds are non reactive these compounds are non reactive non flammable non toxic organic molecules and therefore used in refrigerator air conditioner in air conditioner and refrigerator these gas these are so this is gaseous form are used in the production of also it is used in the production of plastic foam plastic foam and by the electronic industry by cleaning computer by cleaning computer parts it is see once cfc are released in the atmosphere they they mix with the normal atmospheric gases and eventually reaches the stratosphere means how it will mix with the air and it will go up to the stratosphere and there it can stay up to thousand of years thousand of years and slowly and slowly it will harm the ozone layer they they get broken down by powerful uv radiation okay this cfc are released in the atmosphere they mix with the normal they mix with the normal atmospheric gases and uh, reach the stratosphere Strat uh, stratosphere in stratosphere they get broken broken down by powerful uv radiation releasing chlorine free radical this cfc will break down in presence of ultraviolet ray uv light and it will it will give chlorine free radical it will produce chlorine free radical means cf2cl2 this is the chlorofluorocarbon it is actually methane all in methane four hydrogens are there and then two hydrogen gone and in its place two fluorine came and other two hydrogen gone and its its place two chlorine came that's why now four valency of carbon in that two are fluorine atom and two are chlorine atom c f c chlorofluoro carbon or dichloro difluoro methane also you can tell then this breaks in the uv light and it produces uh, two radical it will produce first chlorine radical it will produce chlorine radicals and other cf2cl just like a ch3 radical just like a ch3 radical now it become cf2cl radical one one cl gone then now three are remaining two fluorine and one cl then it is the radical form cf2cl radical this is formed then this chlorine atom what it will do that uh, the chlorine radical then react with stratosphere ozone 
टू फॉर्म क्लोरिन मोले मोनोऑक्साइड इट विल फॉर्म दिस एस्टेटोस्फेयर ओजोन दैट दिस क्लोरिन क्लोरिन इट विल रिएक्ट ओ थ्री विल रिएक्ट विथ क्लोरिन रेडिकल एंड इट विल फॉर्म एनदर एनदर रेडिकल मीन्स ओ थ्री विल कन्वर्ट इंटू टू पार्ट्स नाउ आफ्टर रिएक्शन विथ क्लोरिन रेडिकल इट विल कन्वर्ट इंटू टू पार्ट्स फर्स्ट ऑक्सीजन दैट इज ओके एंड अदर इट विल फॉर्म सी एल ओ सी एल ओ रेडिकल सी एल ओ क्लोराइड एंड ऑक्सीजन बोथ विल मेक बाउंड इट इज रेडिकल बिकॉज दैट बाउंड ब्रोकन के दिस रेडिकल क्लोरिन रेडिकल ओ थ्री थ्री ऑक्सीजन थ्री ऑक्सीजन आर देयर थ्री बाउंड्स आर देयर दिस ओ ओ थ्री बाउंड्स आर देयर देन दे विल ब्रेक दिस बाउंड क्लोरिन रेडिकल एंड दे विल फॉर्म सी एल ओ रेडिकल एंड अदर रेडिकर विल अदर विल विद ऑक्सीजन एंड दिस सी एल ओ रेडिकल बिकॉज रेडिकल इज ऑलवेज वेरी वेरी रिएक्टिव इट विल रिएक्ट विथ ऑक्सीजन इट विल रिएक्ट विथ ऑक्सीजन एटम एंड इट विल फॉर्म अगेन रेडिकल इट विल फॉर्म सी एल ओ रेडिकल प्लस ऑक्सीजन रेडिकल देन दीज टू ऑक्सीजन सी एल ओ रेडिकल दैट ओ नाउ इट विल ब्रेक एंड इट विल देन ऑक्सीजन रेडिकल फ्रीड फ्रॉम द सी एल ओ ओ रेडिकल from clo radical o now it will react with the another o another o and it will form o2 and again it will create cl radical see how cl radical this is cfc is creating problem cfc broken into two parts that is the chlorine radical and cf2 cl radical and this cl radical is creating problem this cl radical reacting with reacting with ozone and it is form, forming clo radical plus oxygen gas then oxygen gas no problem but this radical clo radical again it will react with the uh, this uh, oxygen atom oxygen atom then this oxygen atom and clo that radical oxygen that this clo clo bond will break and o will o will react with another oxygen and it will form o2 and cl radical then now again cl radical you are getting then this chain reaction will continue then like that way ozone layer will be depleted the chlorine radicals are continuously uh, regenerated and cause the breaking of this cause the breaking of ozone ozone causes the break breakdown of ozone the cfc are transporting agents for uh, continuously generating chlorine radicals into the state stratospheric and damage the ozone layer okay. then cf it uh, this uh, the cfc must be uh, used in a uh, very th- i mean uh, this way judiciary is just you thinking that w- what will be its effect uh, means what is required only that amount it should be used because uh, you can't uh, stop complete use uh, but now the, it is creating problem and it is a, this uh, chlorine atom finally coming out from the cfc is making hole in ozone layer now i am telling you about the ozone hole ozone hole then uh, in 1980 in 1980 atmospheric scientist working in antarctica reported about depletion of ozone layer commonly known as ozone hole over the south pole this in 1980 first time it was found a hole that is in antarctica already i told you long back that is and south pole okay 
over the south pole it was found that a unique set of conditions was responsible for ozone hole in summer season nitrogen dioxide and methane react with chlorine chlorine monoxide clo is called chlorine monoxide then now these three gases i am telling you in summer season in summer season nitrogen dioxide methane nitrogen dioxide and methane react with chlorine monoxide okay and uh, chlorine atoms chlorine atom forming chlorine sinks okay it forms a uh, forming chlorine sinks preventing much ozone okay preventing much ozone depletion okay means they are not allowing to uh, make ozone layer this no2 and ch4 it is reacting with uh, this clo clo chlorine monoxide and they are preventing they are not allowing to prepare ozone okay ozone layer they are not allowing to make that's why ozone depletion they are preventing much ozone depletion and uh, whereas in winter in winter a special type of clouds called polar strato stratosphere clouds are formed over antarctica these polar stratospheric clouds provide surface on which chlorine nitrate chlorine nitrate formed actually during the reaction you uh, will get chlorine nitrate also okay this chlorine means uh, no2 is there cl is there the obviously they will form chlorine nitrate then chlorine nitrate formed gets hydrolyzed to form hypochlorous acid hypochlorous acid it will form that is i am talking about in the winter it happens it also react with hydrogen chloride hydrogen chloride produced okay to produce in the reaction to give the mono uh, molecular chlorine means uh, i am telling about the reaction what happens clo it will react with no2 no2 and it will form clo no2 and uh, this is the first first product and second chlorine radical again it can react with methane and it will form it will form two product methyl radical plus hcl and uh, this clo no2 this is also produced and this actually clo no2 means clo no3 also you can tell clno3 nitrate chloride nitrate but here you can write as a clo no2 because cl will make bond with oxygen then cl clo no2 it reacts with water h2o water vapor and it will form hocl hypochlorous acid hocl and nitric acid okay and this clo no2 clno2 what another other thing will do again it will react with hcl hcl formed now that hcl and clo no2 both will react and again it will form cl2 chlorine gas chlorine gas and hno3 then now again cl2 you got chlorine gas then again chlorine gas will break down in cl cl radical and this condition will this thing will reaction will continue and they will make a hole they will make hole in a ozone ozone layer when uh, again you can see when sunlight returns to the antarctica this happen in the winter in winter all this reaction took place but now uh, 
when sunlight returns means summer when sunlight returns to the antarctica in the a spring the sun's warmth breaks up the cloud and uh, hocl and cl2 are photolyzed means uh, both will break in the presence of sunlight and it gives hocl will give oh radical and c and cl radical hocl was there both will break bond will break and it will form oh radical and cl radical and cl2 cl2 will also break and it will give two cl radical cl radical cl radical then see how many you can say uh, radicals are forming and chloride radicals are always forming the the chlorine radicals thus formed initiate the chain reaction for ozone depletion okay then this is the cause and mechanism how ozone layer is going to be depleted okay effects of depletion of ozone layer already i told you a uh, little more you know with the depletion of ozone layer more uv radiation filters into troposphere okay uv radiation lead to aging of skin and cataract sunburn means eye problem skin cancer killing of many many phyto planktons means uh, plants damage to fish productivity fish it will affect the fish also fish production it has also been reported that plant proteins plants proteins get easily affected by uv radiations which leads to the harmful mutation uh, mutation of cells it also increase increases evaporation of surface water through the stomata of the leaves and decreases the moisture content of the soil increase in uv radiation damage paints and fibers causing them to fade faster then this i told you uh, bad effect of uh, this uh, depletion of ozone layer till you ozone layer uv light is coming and uv light is very energetic very energetic it has more energy than visual light visual light then wherever it will go it will pass through anything it will harm there in body when it will pass there all sensitive parts it will damage from the plants leaves everywhere it will damage that's why this ozone layer depletion should not be there and for that use of uh, cfc cfc must be controlled controlled and judicious means uh, in a judgment should be uh, this is one should use in a thinking that it's a side effect it should not go into the atmosphere okay this uh, once before using this uh, they should know that uh, Uh, cfc should not go to the atmosphere otherwise depletion will be there ozone layer and from the ozone layer so many many uv rays will come and it will harm the can say life on the earth today i am stopping only here next class i will start water pollution thank you